welcome to Dodger's Trip. I'm Dodger and in today's episode we're going for a linear walk through Wyke in Bradford. Now normally when I do the walks around my uh, local neighbourhood I'll do circular walks so you can pick up the walk at any point and, and you know do the route without missing anything. Today it's going to be a linear route and I thought I would uh, take a look down the high street of the village, the retail, the main retail sector, which is really that the heart of, of things in Wyke. Um, so I'm starting at the top of uh, Towngate, which is the street I'm talking about, and I'm going to walk through to the lower end of Towngate, and we'll have a look at some of the businesses and a few thoughts and maybe recommendations as well. Um, so I'm starting here from where these businesses start. This is the beginning of, of Towngate, or this one end. Now, the end building used to be Kyber House, uh, Curry House for, for a long, long, long time. Um, I've noticed this place called Salim Khana, food for every mood, a restaurant and takeaway. I don't know anything about that place. Village jewellers, KMK nail and hair design and Towngate hairdressers. Now, that's my, my barbers of choice. Been going there for, what, easily 10 years or so. I think probably ever since it, it, it opened up. Uh, so yeah, if you want a haircut in Wyke, I'd, I'd recommend that place. There's numerous barbers and hairdressers in Wyke, so you're not spoiled for choice. And then we've got a Chinese takeaway, Wok Express. Now, I don't know anything about this place either, I've never used it. If, uh, if I forget to mention anything or you've got any recommendations of places to order food from or, you know, have your hair cut for example, shop, then please uh, leave a comment. It'd be interesting to hear what, what other people think about what, you know, the, the businesses in Way. So we're starting at the top end of Towngate uh, by the Village Green. Lovely open space and long may it remain so. Now, I've come early morning, because the traffic can get quite busy, and I'm going to be crisscrossing the road, so it makes it easier to come, come out a bit earlier. Now, this, this building, for many, many years, until only maybe five years ago, was the Robin Hood pub, going back into the 19th century. So, um, it was a familiar place in Wyke and part of the pub pub run that would continue downtown here and we'll see in in town gate there's there's three pubs now we're coming to another church uh, here the main i don't know if you call it the main church there's, there's several there's like a chapel there's saint mary's church there's this white christian community church i don't know if they have a denomination or how that works but yeah this has been here several years and it's usually pretty busy on a, on a Sunday when you're going by the number of cars that are parked outside now one thing that I realized when I was starting to think about the walk yesterday last night there's quite a few things in, in, in Towngate come in threes now um, I've already mentioned the being three pubs there's also three fish and chip shops and I realised three bus stops and three zebra crossings. So there may be some other things that, that are in threes on Towngate as well. If you do can think of anything, let us know in comments. If you're new to the, you know, the channel, uh, let, let me just tell you a little bit about it. So, it's based around history, walks and travel and it, each video will ha have at least one of those components, sometimes two and other times all three uh, will, will be in, 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 in a particular, the subject matter of a particular video. Um, so if you do like history, walks and travel, I hope you can check out some of the other films that I've got. Uh, and if you do, you know, enjoy the film, please like and, and subscribe. That will really help the video to be seen. 
So we're coming down here, we've got a car sales place. Car sales place over there, There's, that's been a car sales place for many, many years, as long as I can remember. Town gate garage again, changed hands, but it's, it's a staple of like. Going to be crossing the road in a, in a second. Uh, this end is a row of terrace houses. We hit uh, Clare Road going off to the left. Now this this property here, well, it's residential now. I remember when it used to be a vet's, and. Uh, I used to be a postman a lot of years ago and I was doing a round in Wyke and as you do I, I did a bit of a PGA probe and as I've knelt down to put a letter in a letterbox my pants have split behind and I had to go to the vets to, to cadge a safety pin off them so I could fix the hole in my pants so I was walking around Wyke. But here we are, we've got uh, another barber's here, Noddy's Barber's Shop and the, this property next to it has always been retail that I know of and it's usually occupied by estate agents. Firms come and go but it's always been the estate agents from what I can remember. So I'm going to cross over the zebra here and this is one of three zebras in Towngate. We've got Curry's Chemist. And as you can see the board here, uh, the sun's shine, pointing that, coming from that direction so it's a, good, a little bit tricky but down there to the right is uh, Sunnybank Medical Centre <coughs> and Asda Supermarket. So it's a bit bigger than a, what you call Tesco Express size, uh, but not quite a, f a full, fully blown supermarket. But anyway, it's useful, useful to have in the village. Uh, these cottage properties, uh, maybe the smallest houses in Towngate, I know at least one of them is, was only one bedroom for a long time, whether that's been changed, but there wasn't a lot of room, it was more or less one, one down, one up. One up, one down. And here, first of three pubs. The Odd Fellas Hall, known locally as the Bottom Odd. So there we are, that's, uh, that's the, the local name. Across here, again, many, many years was the Corp grocery store, now B&M Express, <coughs> Heron Foods by another name basically. And over in the corner here, um, if you're into your darts, you may know, well you will know uh, Joe Cullen who's like in the top 20 um, ranked darts players, he's on TV a lot in, in tournaments. <coughs> now this is run, this cafe here, Pam's Place, is run by his wife. Um, and it's named after Pam Cullen, who is um, Joe's, Joe's mother, who, who sadly passed away um, not that long ago. My wife was good, good friends with her, and I know that she, she was a popular person in Wyke, and he's sadly missed. Um, but anyway, the, the, the cafe's named after Pam Cullen, and it's a, it's a beautiful cafe. Lovely, lovely inside, lovely decor, and the food and the menu is, is top notch. So, if I want a breakfast, cook breakfast, for example, I always come here, Pam's place, I'd recommend that. Well, Kirkwood, uh, a charity shop. I think the, the hospice is actually in Huddersfield area. <coughs> We come to this place, betting shop, William Hill. Now this again has been a number of different businesses down the years. I remember it being Hollywood 2000, a video shop. Uh, it also been D Lee's, like a general household store. Now this was one edge of an arcade that, that kind of ran, ran down here. And there was, there was shops down here and shops down here and, the, and down at the bottom, it was the entrance to the car supermarket that's long gone of course over the road here a pound store again it there was a, the, the the arcade that i was just talking about there there used to be a place called aladdin's cave where you could most get anything well that pound shop there 
is pretty much the same. How they cram so much stuff into, you know, the small space that they have is, is unbelievable. But <coughs> excuse me, the, the the service is always okay. And if there's anything you want they haven't got, they'll get it for you. Just one thought that comes to mind. Have you ever ever thought about how often you see bookmakers near pubs? I think it's maybe to take advantage of people who have, don't have full control of the faculties and the liable to bet rashly and maybe not make a good selection. So there's the lower odd pub there, which was the first pub we've come across. Just over the road. And next door to Bookies is the Brown Cow, the second the second pub here in Towngate. So and it's it's like part of a pub trail, so people are crossing the road, nipping into Bookies as they're going from pub to pub. Now, again, oh the other side of the road, Laundrette, been there lots of years, lots of years, as, as long as I can remember. Travel with Care now, that's a independent travel agent and that is a relatively newcomer to the village maybe been there i don't know four years or so white fisheries again one of the group of three the Towngate three so there's three fish and chip shops in in Towngate. so that's white fisheries don't know much about it rafael's air salon just let this van go past. Just looking up here, we've got dog, animal magic dog groomers. Next to our hair and beauty place and white opticians at the end there. Uh, the lean to is like the key cutting place. Now, that is, or was, and probably still is, is run by a guy called Lawrence, who I know used to organise national um, Northern Soul events. Now this is Rafael's and you can see it's got the still got the old green tiles on. And that was possibly because this used to be a greengrocer's and used to have all the goods stacked outside under the window. Now yeah, that, I used to use that shop quite a lot. So I'll just walk down a bit further. Crossing the road again, as they're going to do a lot of crisscrossing. Now, this will be interesting. This is probably the oldest building in Towngate. You see the date sign above what used to be the door? 1675. And this used to be a farmhouse. And there are old pictures you can find online of, of it back in that day. So this will have been probably the only building on town, you know, before even Towngate were, you know, was thought about. Again, it's been through various uses over the years, but you can see where the, the farmhouse door used to be. The windows were exactly as they were back in the 18th, 17th and 18th centuries when it was in use as a farmhouse. It's a lovely, lovely looking building. Another hair salon, plenty of hair salons for ladies. Again, this is a fairly new place. Trill and Flounce, all to do with sewing and, and that, that kind of carry on. I think she does lessons if you want to get into that as a hobby. We've got a second fish and chip shop, Yorkshire Fisheries. Now, this bloke is, is very good because at Christmas he will put a, a large Christmas tree up in this area which is always very very nice to see. And the house be behind there always puts Christmas decorations, uh, you know, illuminate the house. And you can see they're still there on the house, but that's always the first sign that Christmas is, is approaching. When you see the, that Christmas tree go up and, and the lights on that house. Now this parade of shots again, if you look at all photos, very little's changed. The businesses may move about that Marshalls, as you can see, Bakers. I think they've gone out of business now. Towngate News, news agents, personalised, you know, for brand, you know, get your, your name stamped on 
merchandise, post office. The guy in there is, is uh, again, fairly new to the village, maybe he's been here three or four years. <coughs> but he's, he's always, I've always found him very nice as well and very helpful. Another hair and beauty over the road. Commu Towngate Community Store, there we are. Just walking past Towngate Kitchen as well, which I've used uh, in the past. I tend to go to Pam's place though for anything like breakfast now. We'll cross over again, crisscrossing. And here's the third pub. And this is Topod. Now, I think it was known as something else, but <coughs> we've got the bottom mod down there, the Odd Fellows Hall, which is the known locally as bottom mod. This is the top mod. And I think it's actually taken the name from the nickname that it acquired. Uh, so if you know what it used to be called before the top mod, that'd be interesting. Let's just have a look in this little, this is, although it's uh, not Town Gate itself, it's Drake Fold. It is basically on Town Gate. It's just so, because I, I think there's a new cafe opened on here. Oh, here we are, Hidden House Coffee. So, uh, food hygiene rating five. Don't know anything about it. That used to be Spud Shed. Short while ago, another hair and beauty place. Yeah, don't know what that's called. And this is a sign on this end. Oh, a low beauty. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that, so that's the, the third pub. And over here, we've got a little. Piazza, if you want to use the Italian word, <laughs> for like a square. Um, sweeter people, they've been going donkey's years now, sell a lot of American, you know, chocolates, candy, all that kind of thing, but they do a delivery service. I think they've won a, awards in, you know, the sort of the takeaway awards uh, in here. Bantam's rotisserie, hot roast sandwiches, closed due to unforeseen circumstances. Right. Well, that was something else the last time I was I was down here, actually. It's been a while, um, but it must have changed hands and it's not open at the moment. This is a great idea, I think. Take a book, leave a book. So this is, you know, you can donate books or come and help yourself, return them when you finish with them. Free for all the villagers to use. What I'm going to do is uh, stick a few of my cards in here. You never know. Right. Might get a subscriber out of it, might I? Great idea though. White community notice board. And this is my favourite fish and chip shop. Let's see if we can see inside. Uh, favourite fish and chip shop in, in Towngate. This is the one that I use. The owner, Richard, is always very good. And the, and, and, and the staff. This is the village fish and chip shop. He does do a delivery service. It's always got a window display as well, which I always look for when I'm walking past. Coronation. Lucky Garden. Take Chinese takeaway. Nails and beauty again. Cicini. Now that's been going for years again. This place, I've been hearing good things about it. Tabriz, Persian cuisine. From the ratings and everything, it's always uh, getting good reviews. So that's one to try at some point. Here, fair weather windows, doors and conservatories. Crossing the road, area cars, local taxi firm, Rogers. Again, another shop that's been in the village a long time. We've got fellas here. Now, this used to be, what did this used to be called? I forgot the name of it, but I know my, my son and my daughters used to use it a lot, get the cheesy chips from. Uh, Fratelli here, Italian restaurant and bar. I've been in there a couple of times for meals and it's been okay and I've had takeaways as well a few times and the takeaways are just as good as the restaurant food so I could recommend that place. This used to be a hairdresser a long time ago, Franco's, and they were in the village for years. Abracadabra, store off license, what's that? Skin shocks, oh yeah, the tattoo parlour. Uh, again, we've got residential properties going down that side. Now this used to be the old uh, Barclays Bank and about 
four or five weeks ago, or three or four weeks ago, the police found a cannabis farm in, in here growing. Now, people have been saying about the strong smell of cannabis as the what sort of around here, uh, and that's where it turned out to be. There was a, a grow going on in there. Uh, uh, I know I walked past a few days later and there was like all the lights stripped down and, and everything because they'd been tapping into the electric illegally. Criss crossing again and here Yorkshire chair again <coughs> another barber's that I've heard never used it is is quite expensive for, for air, air cuts maybe talking 20 pounds plus, and obviously they're, they're, you know, proper barbers. But it's always packed. Whenever you walk past, it's, it's always packed out. So it's obviously, they do a good job. And people don't mind paying a bit extra for a good job, I suppose, especially if it's like your hair. Uh, John Moore Funeral Director's not had anything to do with them, thankfully, <laughs> touch wood. And uh, just coming down here, coming towards the, sort of what is the lower end of town gate Yorkshire physiotherapy centre now this used to be a, a school back at the beginning of the sort of 20th century not sure if it was an infant school so we started we started up at the top of town gate by a green space the village green and we're going to end here at the bottom end of town gate next to another green space the recreation ground so this is where wyke amateur rugby league club play their matches their home games obviously a, po a popular place so there we have it that is town gate so i hope you've enjoyed this this look a, look around Although I've had a YouTube channel for about three years, I only started the, the vlogging thing around September last year, so I'm relatively new to it. If you do enjoy videos around Wyke, Lawmower, then please consider... YouTuber. Yes, sir. YouTube, yeah, what do you do? Here, <laughs> let me give you a card. And you never know. I do uh, a lot around Wyke. But uh, also other, YouTube, th yeah. other things as well. I do stuff about crazes and you know a bit of everything really. YouTube. Yeah. I'll subscribe. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you. Yeah. So I've only been doing the actual vlogging since September time. If you enjoy videos around Wyke, as I say, history walks and travel, um, then then please consider subscribing. That'd be really good. Uh, and and leave a comment as I say if you've got any recommendations of places that you've used in 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 Towngate leave a recommendation or any comments that you have that, that they'd be great because I do read and I acknowledge every single comment I also do videos um, of things that interest me around the world the, the catchphrases around the corner around the world um, so I, I've just been to Scotland recently so I'll be doing some videos of, of that trip hopefully you can get some enjoyment from these and you, you, you can you know follow me which would be absolutely fantastic i'll leave you with the last shot of of town gate as i walk away <laughs>